Beelzy Bob, B W L Z E B U B. B W E Z L E B U B. Beelzy Bob, B W L Z E B U B.
I would say that um, I'd, I'd get Adam to read it too. Yeah, he's been years. I told him to read it. But I, I'll tell him to read it, absorb it thoroughly, see how they've been at him, because he seems to be the part of the year. So well, see, they, they killed one son. Right. They're trying to kill him, see? Yeah. You could almost take on the part of that young boy that was paid double wages and double food rations yet losing weight. Yeah. So yeah. what's the casting out of demon of the demon that caused that to well, the young boy? Yeah, well that, that, that's the first one, but beautiful bug is the one over the water. I realise that, but the one pertaining to Adam is the boy that was losing weight, yeah. having health problems, yeah. and yet Solomon said to him, why? So then they find out that there's a demon. Yeah. So what's the demon's name and who's the angel that cast it out and told that demon right now to do it? Right, if, if he um, tells the angels to seize each one of these demons, they're to be cast off the earth. Right. So that's the command. I get Adam to do it. Well, I give Adam the power to do it.
you get me a drink, my dear? What we had at the table was there. Oh, pomegranate, eh? Now, this is interesting, this one, but it's a headless one. It's called Envy. And it's the one that goes after people's heads. To consume people's heads. So Kids. Heads. Heads, yeah. Oh, yeah. Envy. Now, it um, causes the blisters on their speech. And, and, and once it puts the head on, head on it with fire, it consumes it, it sucks the head into it. So where a race of people are is subject to the stars above it.
Now, Solomon asked him, by, by what angel are you frustrated? And he said, by the fiery flash of lightning. Um, Michelle was terrified of lightning, absolutely terrified of it. Why would you go and stand out in it? Right. She'd go and hide. Remember, the angel showed up, Yeah. sat on the bed with him. Yeah. Pat her on the back for two hours. Yes. And also, I warned her when she went to this bloody uh, dance studio doing her tap dancing, she goes across the floor, falls, and breaks both wrists. Mm. Imagine that. And the age she was was Messiah, Messiah. Christos, which is the same latitude as Eileen and the same latitude as Roswell. So that's why they, they're bringing on the um, Roswell thing that the uh, 4th of July was the man I spoke to who was a public relations officer for the 503, which is the same people that dropped the bomb on Nagasaki and Hiroshima out of Albuquerque. That's where it was stationed, Roswell. His name was uh, Walter Holt. And um, he said to me, and I had given him the Freemason handshake of the 33 degree, and he was 33 degree of the uh, Scottish Rite. So that's the, pro the prevalent one that dominates, right? And uh, he said to me that he had seen the dead bodies of the spacecraft. All bullshit, of course. Didn't happen. The original story, which I exposed, of course, as you think I might, was that there was two spacecrafts flying not over New York, London, Amsterdam, Sydney or wherever, but at some enormous height, flying in opposite directions and they ran into each other over Roswell. That's what they said. Now, they promoted the idea that um, aliens had came here and were billions of years in the making and we'd been seeded by the angels or the demons, or the aliens, whichever you want to call it. But they're promoting aliens, right? The Akanaki and all this kind of stuff. Okay, the I'm Federations asking, of Light. Sorry? I was asking, so is he first to call the demon for him, then the archangel to come and take him away? Or yeah, why not? Whatever he feels. Just or, get, or get, just get, get, get him, to demand him to be there, and get the demand of the angel to be there, and say, right, out of here. Right. So the angel is over watching what Adam is saying and the, the demon is cast out off the planet yes. into the bottomless pit. Do the lot. What was I saying? Ah. Okay. So um, these two independent, or if they're from the Galactic Federation, should both know where they bloody well are, right? But let's say they have been watching the Earth for all these millions of years, tweaking human beings out of gorillas, 
and then they come for a bit of a look-see, they don't go to New York, they don't go to Washington, they don't go to London, they go to the middle of the desert. And at 100,000 feet they run into each other coming in opposite directions. Now, you couldn't even put a mathematical odds that if this was the case, what the rarity of these stupid fools coming this distance and running into another spacecraft coming from the other direction. That was the original story. The one was totally destroyed, the other, being a better material of course, spiralled to the ground and crashed and that's what caused the accident. And there was four on board and one survived, did like strawberry ice cream I believe. This is the bullshit that they've been putting out. So when they brought all these German scientists over from Germany after the war, they had mistakenly brought in people that were righteous, smart. They know what Hitler was on about. Of course the story of Hitler has been changed to be a demon, but he wasn't. He was saying. Hey? I don't know. What about the There's always something strange names that these people come up with you know, but it really are pathetic. Like Desert Storm. I mean, they're going in to murder people. Desert Storm. And then Operation something else when they did that. You know. When the uh, British were dropping bombs in Norway to blow up the dam, it was called the Dam Busters. Um, they had a name for that as well, just... Uh, um, you know what, eh? Hey? You know no, no, that was the end of the war, but prior to that, the um, uh, English were coming in with a bomb, they'd bounce across the top of the water, and they'd get the height by shining two searchlights onto the water, when the two lights come together and knew exactly the right height, and knew how far they were from the so they thought, and they dropped a bomb and it would bounce and then finally go right up, keep moving until it bumped against the wall of the dam, sink, and then blow up and blow the dam up. That's what they did. It was dam busters, I think Operation Dam Buster or something like that. I remember seeing that, you seen it? Kirk Douglas was in it. No. I think he might have been. Might have been. I'm pretty sure it was the black and white. No, it was colour. There were, I think there was another one called the Dam Busters as well. All English uh, people in it. Um, one of the things that happened, they were bringing in these commandos towed by, uh, in a big glider. And the plane would bring them in and then let them go and then they'd glide in and land. Well, the first one crashed and killed them all. with 70 men or something. It was on purpose, of course. Well, these people are experts. A glide is nothing, right? Yeah. The glide it moves so slow when they're flying that it would be almost impossible to crash it. So they probably blew it up. What was the name of the seven devils?
I was talking about just thinking the two rings that Yah spoke about, the one shortened by 21 years. Okay. Oh, the two rings that he spoke about, the one shortened by 21 years. What's that have to do with... What two rings are I talking about? Two rings, to do with that. The one shortened by 21 years. I remember that, like, uh, um, yeah. 